John, tell me, what is it about your company that makes it so unique? Well, I think Siemens Nanotech has, has three areas of which uh, we're, we're proud of and I think can maybe set us apart a bit. One is we focus in nanomaterials. It's all we do. Uh, nanomaterials have very exciting uh, novel properties that are just being discovered today. Um, second is our, our business model of collaboration. We've chosen to work very uh, directly with our customer to scale these new and exciting products into novel and unique applications that can have significant benefits. Uh, third is that we are really looking at application areas that can move quickly. And for this reason, we've chosen to focus in printed electronics. Uh, this is a new area that has significant social and economic benefits. We're working in flat panel displays, uh, working in new and flexible solar cell technology, and also in RFID, all of which are, are looking to grow very, very quickly, and all of which can have a major benefit by adopting the nanoscale materials that we're manufacturing. From your perspective, what country best facilitates starting up a technology company? I don't think there's really any country that, that stands out. You know, there's different uh, historical precedents, certainly. But I think you really need to look at a combination of things. One, it needs an investor base that recognizes your technology and can support that. Uh, the second is being you know, closer to your collaboration partners can make a major benefit. Um, and most of our opportunities are in Japan and the Pacific Rim, and I think for that reason, most of our investors also come from there. Uh, third, I think government can play a role. Certainly early stage grants can help a, a fledgling idea or, or company get off the ground, but ultimately they're gonna need to stand in the free market and be able to sustain themselves. What about innovation? What makes an innovator? Oh, I think having a broad knowledge base can, can certainly have a major impact and then be able to bring potentially disparate components together to make a useful and novel product. You know, Apple is a great example. The iPod is really no new invention, but they were able to bring very unique components together and make a, a really exciting product. At Siemens Nanotech, we've been able to leverage uh, our knowledge of chemistry, nanomaterials, and the electronics markets to make a, a, an exciting self-assembly process that we can use and adopt to transparent conductive films. How would you say your company contributes to improving the state of the world? Well, again, I think the nanoscale platform and the properties of the materials can lead to a much cleaner, cheaper, even more reliable manufacturing process for existing components used today, uh, but also the work that we're doing in solar cells, I think eventually will have a major impact uh, that can be very positive, both economically, but I think more importantly, on a social benefit to the environment.